Wishing you all a very happy 75th Independence Day celebrations in India. Morning when I got up, we decided to have breakfast. Kids all said, we'll go out for a breakfast. And we all went to six kilometers from here. There's a place in Maharatahan. Their kids ordered uh, masala dosa. It was very nice, very tasty masala. The moment I entered the shop, that owner came running. So much I was shocked. <laughs> they know us. So some kids ordered uh, set dosa. One kid ordered uh, ghee dosa. And um, one, uh, our Kavita's husband ordered puttu and mote curry, egg curry and um, apam and kadli kali curry, varieties. It was very nice. And when I looked in the bill, the man has charged us very, very less. <laughs> From there, when I came back over here, the painters were doing the work. They were running and uh, painting the walls because tomorrow is Independence, uh, Independence Day celebrations. They're making arrangements. The wall was beautifully painted and completed the high school painting also. Coming to the wilder side, wilders already reached. But there is a cow, bull called Karia. He is very sweet, tall, black, healthy, good looking boy. Very sweet boy. Suddenly he became very dangerous. Why he became dangerous? Because there's another one man came from Assam. He's also a bull. He's, we call him Bull Bull. <laughs> Tall, white, very healthy. He and uh, Donson, they were all three, four big men. And they all want all the heifers, all the girls for them. <laughs> and these people are not allowing them to move with the uh, female uh, cows to the field for grazing. So that must be the anger with the career. So Korea, when he hit the uh, big fence, broke down the fence. <laughs> and he attacked the uh, Assam bull, uh, which is called Sai or something. Very really tall, good looking man. And the Korea is very strong. So I called the welder to put up a very strong fence. That has also been done. The drains have been cleaned up. And then the work is done for tomorrow's Independence Day. I think some guest is walking in. Sri Devi Kapoor, this is the second quote on the famous late actress I'm speaking. Sri Devi said, your face is a mirror to your nature. When I heard that, it shocked me. For one sentence, Mahatma Gandhi kept on telling. The culture of the people is known by the way they take care of the animals. And my Japanese friends told me, when I see the dogs barking in the street, I can understand the people. If the dogs are very friendly, the people are also very friendly. That has got a connecting link to Sri Devi's your face. is a mirror to your nature. Yes. The face shows that you are healthy. The moment you look at the face and you see a lot of makeup, you know, that child has not done enough homework. It's not a hard worker. They never sweat. The moment you sweat, you can see the blood flowing in the face. The eyes look fiery, powerful. It is just like you banking. It's like fire. It can melt any hardest rock, hardest stone in the world whole world and create beautiful smiles of ornaments. Sri Devi said, your face is a mirror to your nature. Yes. The smile on your face when you speak, you and the, and the words becomes one. It's called the Karma Yoga. You are not disconnected. You do not talk to the people by holding on to something or borrowed knowledge or with suspicion. The, mo the moment you look into the face, you'll come to know you can, anybody can, you don't need to learn face reading. Look and you can understand what kind of culture it is, the deep involvement. Most of my Devinali teachers, like uh, Manjula Madam, Deviki Madam and all, the way they, oh, they talk with such sweetness and respect and love, we can feel it, yes. Such is the nature. Any work given to them, they never know to say no. Sri Devi Kapoor said, your face 
is a mirror to your nature. And if your face is a mirror to your nature, what you should do when you come back from your factories, from your companies where they make you a slave and you squeeze the last drop of your talent to make them a millionaire, when you understand that, when you're conscious, when you're observant of that, when you rush up back home, you know, I have a talent. I am powerful. They are squeezing the last drop of my talent. Yes. And the saying goes in India, when you have, when somebody squeezes the last drop of talent, in India they say when the, well, the last drop of well water is uh, removed, Fresh water comes in, fresh water comes in throughout the time the martial arts career, especially in Kyokushin Karate, they taught them when you are totally tired, you are dead. That is a time a new spirit come, a new spirit with, a, with extended energy. And that energy is your real power, not in the very first stage when you fight. Towards the end of the fight, when you show a new energy and you fight and you win, you are the winner. That is the power of the water, the, the well water. Fresh water comes in, comes out. Drain it out. Husbands and wives who are working in factories and companies, they come back home and they are dead. Lying down on the, on the bed, calling on the ayahs and neighborhood maids. No, no, you are your maid. You are your servant of your body. God's servant. You are the Dasa, Krishna Dasa, Krishna's servant. Yes. Don't run away from that. When you come back home, the second energy, how do you do second energy? Sri Devi Kapoor, your face is a mirror to your nature. Your face, rush up and scrub your face. Take a powerful bath. Drink and rush up to do another second round of energy. And night, when you finish your housework along with your wife and your children, you can find a third energy blooming to make love, talk in love, and plan strategies for the next day. There is no plan strategy. Everybody understands their duty because their duty is to make sure, like I said, every one day you show one improvement. 365 to 365 improvement and which world will make you a nobody. You are a somebody, not a nobody. Sri Devi Kapoor said, your face is a mirror to your nature. When you do that with your family, in and the young, positive and negative will create energy. Then you don't have to light a lamp by force. You are the light until your people are lighting the lamp. And all the Swamiji's, all the great leaders have taught them, like, clean the house, light your lamp, and sing your bhajan problem is solved. Problem don't solve. They said, clean your house means your inner house. How do you clean your inner house when you go outside and walk? You were observant. When you came back, that observation you got it, you became conscious. You worked and did a second round of sweating in the house by looking into all the maintenance areas, looking into the land, that how much vegetables and fruits and the long-term projects of the house. And after 25 years or 40 years, if you plant a teak or tree, or a sandalwood tree, whether when your child reaches to that age, in your old age, whether you will get a 5,000 crores or 30,000 crores back, 30,000 crores, we are talking about 1 lakh crore from your land, from your sandalwood and teak plantations. When you do that, you have understood that in and the yang, your factories and your house, if that can create a lamp from your sweat, a happiness blooming and you're talking with energy to your children and your wife and you, you open your hands and before they open, they themselves will come and hug you. Once they hug you, what happens in the hug with your wife and your children? A new chikuru opens up from your branches. A new shoot, bamboo shoot opens up from your tree trunk and that that chikuru, that shoot is called the joint family. 
You never fear your joint family. You will only feel loud. Why do you feel a joint family? Because you are going there. You are already thousand men warrior. Sri Devi Kapoor said, your face is mirror. Your whole body has become a mirror to your nature. People look at you. They know that's a power. And you are a power. You don't fear when you walk. A thousand people walk behind you. When you talk, a thousand people listen. You go to the joint family. Joint family knows you are not come to rob. You are not asking anything, but you are come to give. The more you give, Mother Teresa says, more it comes back to you. Like Mahatma Gandhi said, an eye for an eye will only make the whole world blind. They have created, the institutions have created telling you, don't go back to your relatives, an eye for an eye. They are hit you, you must hit them back. You, they spit, spat on you, spat back on them. They spat on you. It is Amur, they, mm, put in your mouth, mm, chew it up. Don't feel sad. At least you provoke, Mahatma Gandhi said. You be the change for the change you ask for. Mahatma, Mahatma, provoke till they respond. Provoke. And you have provoked them. You had the strength to provoke them for them to spit. The moment they spat on you, the moment they used bad language, the moment they come to beat you, provoke till they respond. You have created the first response. They were holding on. They responded. That is the success of the civil disobedience moment. We provoke till they respond. Provoke and you uh, provoke. The producers, they provoked the invaders. And when they responded, he knew that was a power, that was success of the civil disobedience moment. That will be the success of your family connecting to the joint family. And that can stall the family tree. Once you have the family tree, you can call 75th independent. You got independence. From your suppressed energy, you got independence from the bottom, you got independence from the beggars, money for working the factories. You have never gone to your family, and there stands the root deep down, and the tree stands tall. Otherwise, you are still independent on factories and come. You are independent still on the slave masters. Come out of the slavery. Celebrate Saint of the Independence Day. Sri Devi Kapoor said, your face is a mirror to your nature. How to make your face a diamond? You are a diamond. Let it shine in the 75th Independence Day. Shine with me. Thank you.